Hi, I'm Eric Santana with Santana Outdoors and we specialize in premium hunting gear. Let's take a look at some products that will make your next outdoor adventure a little bit better. Hello, I'm Rep with Santana Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a, a quick overview of the Everly Stock M5, also known as the Team Elk. It's a fairly new pack, been out on the market for a little bit, but uh, it's a very unique pack. It, um, it's a very great tool for the rifle hunter and also for the bow hunter. We're going to talk about it here just a little bit and show you some of the high points on it. This pack comes in at about 3,100 cubic inches and it weighs right around 6 pounds 8 ounces. It does have an exterior frame and uh, the color that you see here, this is Western Slope and this is the same pack but it's in the other uh, camouflage color this comes in which is the Timber Veil. So I'm just going to start. Uh, basically this is, a, uh, this is a top loading pack and it's also a front loading pack. And we're going to walk through a little bit. Um, now on the uh, lid you have a, a zipper compartment that uh, is probably probably about a liter and a half size. Um, and on the face of that, you do have a lot of molly webbing uh, for attaching, you know, your accessory stuff to bed rolls, that kind of thing. And then on the bottom of the lid, you do have a smaller pocket here uh, with a weatherproof zipper. And then once you open it up. Basically, this is this is going to be the top loading portion. So you just open this thing up, kind of give you an idea on what the space is like. And then I also told you this was a, a front loading pack as well. So on the front loader part, you can see there's there's one pocket here. And then once you unzip this, this gives you access into the main compartment. Within the main compartment, there are several pockets inside, and then also on the uh, on the inside of the face, you can see you have a mesh pocket, and then you also have another pocket that's separate from that. So pretty decent amount of size space in there. Again, with the pockets, you're looking at a great area to store your your food and your clothing for a couple days of being out uh, out and about hunting. As you can see, this is the, uh, the metal, the exterior frame we were talking about, and uh, makes for a great rack, great meat rack, and that's, this is uh, aluminum tubing, and it runs up inside and loops up over. We're just going to talk about one side of this pack. Both sides are symmetrical. Um, you have a smaller pocket here, down low, and then as you can see, you have more webbing on the sides here to uh, attach your items to. And then you have one big pocket here as well, and it does have uh, uh, weatherproof zipping on it. This pocket does go down quite a ways, as you can see, great for spotting scopes. Um, you can even stick a, a tripod in there. And then with this pocket, uh, they can also be used for hydration. Uh, keep in mind, both sides are the same. So you can just run your hose out, and you can run it over the left or the right side uh, of the pack itself. Once you have your bag completely filled up, you do have a really large compression strap here to help you zip everything down. As you can see, this is the same thing here. Um, and then on the bottom, this is where your bow carrier comes in. So you can use it for, for a bow carrier or you can use it uh, for hauling out your game if you want to. Like I said, we talked about that, that shelf and you can see kind of where that shelf comes in right here and you can expand these out so you could really throw on a couple quarters of a small deer and, and, and cinch them up. But uh, we talked about the bow carrier and this little zipper pocket down here, this is where you would just simply stick the bottom of your bow into and then the top half would be up here. You would just run your strap around, strap it, that way if you needed to you could just reach back, unbuckle a quick buckle and pull your bow out. Uh, but this can also serve as another pocket if you're not using it obviously for your bow carrier. Uh, we also said this was a great pack for the rifle hunters too. And um, if you're not using it for rifle hunting, obviously this would make a, another really large pocket that could come in useful to you. But this same opening is also the opening for the scabbard. So it just has one zipper, you just unzip it. This is the top portion. And then when you want your scabbard, just pull it out the bottom. So now you can see, no problem uh, uh, sticking a nice deer rifle in here uh, with a scope. You'll have plenty of room 
and real handy just to tuck away when you're not using it for, for rifle hunting. I myself find this pack very useful. I have used this on a hunt and going out in the remote areas, even when you're bow hunting, it's always nice to have a shotgun or something like that, uh, just in case you know you never know what you run into, but makes it really handy and really easy to tag along. Okay, real quick, we're just going to talk about the shoulder harness and also the waist belt. Um, shoulder harness, the straps on it are, are pretty wide, um, which is good. They're wide and flat. They call it a shooter's harness. Uh, goes goes probably about three inches uh, in width, and the padding is very minimal. So makes it more comfortable and makes it to where you can shoot off of this shoulder harness if you have to. Here's a nice uh, handle. It's easy to grab a hold of. Uh, pick up your bags, carry them off. And then on the shoulder harness, it's really simple to adjust uh, for those with a longer torso or a shorter torso. Very easy. All you do is just simply undo this Velcro and then you can pull this harness out here and you can walk it up and down. Uh, there's like a, a little ladder behind this so you can raise and lower it. Put the tabs back in, Velcro back on, it's done. Here's a nice strap up front. Here's a, a chest strap for a keeper. Um, these are great because they slide up and down no problem. So you can have that chest strap up high or you can have it down low. It's just a matter of pushing it up or down. And then as you can see, um, it does have some great padding in it. Uh, nice thick pads here and here with some breathing room in between, so it allows you to get some airflow up in there. Same kind of padding on your hip belts. <clears throat> um, very nice, makes it really comfortable for you, and it's not so much that it's going to be bulky. On each side of the, the hip belt, you do have some smaller pockets. These pockets would be ideal for putting in a, a small range finder, uh, just to give you an idea on the size. And like I said, you do have one on each side. Okay, so when you want to adjust your shoulder harness, uh, here's your shoulder harness here. Here's the two straps. It's very easy to do. You just simply undo this Velcro here, and you can pull this whole system out. It just comes right out with the tabs. And as you can see behind it, there's little bits of, of nylon. looks like a ladder system. And so once you have this out, you can just walk it up that ladder system. And you can see more here on the bottom too. Uh, very simple to do, very easy to do. Pull it out, move it up or down, and then just Velcro it back in place and you're set to go. We just want to thank you again for stopping in and checking out this review of the Team Elk, also known as the M5 by Everly Stock. I uh, just want to remind you that uh, we do have free shipping on all of our items every day. And we also appreciate your comments. Um, anytime you see a review, please check us out. Uh, drop us a line on YouTube, email us, call us. We really like to hear your feedback and I'd like to hear how we did. Thanks again.